Hey guys, John here. Today we're in pigments and let's make a nice marimba sound. So let's go to a file, new preset, and go from wavetable to analog. And we're going to just be using two triangle waves. It's actually a pretty simple recipe. Both are going to be 100%, but the second one here is going to be up two octaves, so 24 semitones, something kind of like that. <laughs> Okay, so now we have the tone and we do need to do a little bit of carving. So for our amplitude envelope, let's bring down our sustain and then it's kind of bring up the decay and have the release match that as well. Okay, so now let's go to the cutoff and maybe bring this down to in the 700s somewhere and have a little bit of envelope to kind of modulate like that, just a hair. So really with these envelopes here, let's actually take the sustain down. So we have an attack of about one, decay maybe 1.23 seconds. So it's really kind of up to our taste to how long we really want to have that sound decay for. And the release is pretty much in that ballpark. It's going to increase it just a little bit here. And kind of similar with the envelope, it's kind of default, but we did reduce. So we have the sustain at zero and maybe the decay. We're going to do about 900 or something like that on the release as well. And let's go to our effects and we also need some reverb. And for this here, I'm going to do the macros on the cutoff. I'm going to bring this down just a little bit more and grab the first one and kind of increase it like that. Default should be fine. We don't really need more than that. So label that cutoff. So wherever you want to kind of have how dark or bright you want to have the sound, that is going to be up to you on this cutoff here. We might not necessarily need resonance, but it's going to be there just in case you want to reach for it. So let's call that res. And let's clean up the signal a little bit here. Let's bring our the de de uh, delay and reverb down and go to the EQ and kind of just dial in a little bit of corrective EQ here. Can actually increase the decay just a little bit longer. Same with the release. And for our second filter, let's just kind of cut off those lows, uh, really lows that we don't really need. So we're in multi mode, and that's fine. Let's go to high pass 36. And then a little bit of realistic, even though it's going to be hit with softer kind of things, we can always add a little bit of attack here slightly. So for our first noise, we can bring this to maybe filter two. Going to have a sound like that and use envelope three to modulate the volume just a little bit. and add a little bit of keyboard tracking there. And maybe a little bit of delay might be a little bit nice here as well. So bring back the low pass and increase the high pass. I'm kind of like that. Okay, so that seems kind of nice here. And for the delays and the reverb as well, it might be nice to put those on separate macros. So we're going to use macro three for the, the uh, delay, and that's going to be 14%, so 0.14 or 1.5, that's fine. And the reverb 0.27 because it's at 27%, so something like that. And label this macro three delay, and macro four is going to be reverb.
and we need to increase our volume. And depending on kind of the mixture of the oscillators that you would like, you can always back off the second one here and kind of just listen to the different changes that it makes to the sound here. Totally up to you how you would like to mix that. But yeah, this is the marimba. If you'd like to get a copy of this preset, there is a link in the video description below. Hopefully you learned something and thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.